Good morning, everyone. Andy Tuttle here with the Tuttle Group at Fairway Mortgage doing your DFW mortgage market update. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the rain we're getting and hopefully we continue to get more. I know my yard could use it, maybe yours could too. I wanted to give you a quick update like we do every week about the mortgage markets and what does that mean to you when you're out there shopping for a home. So this last week, two main things happened. One, uh, we exited the uh, Paris Accord. And when Trump did that, that caused some fluctuation and concern when he exited on Thursday afternoon and that put us in a position to have a potential good morning on Friday for bonds and then when the jobs report missed like it did it really helped actually put the bonds above a very very big technical line that we're going to get to in a second uh, and some of you probably heard on media that the unemployment rate went down so it may be confusing that we had a bad jobs report but here's what happened we did have we had 233,000 people lose their jobs this on this report and so the report missed, plus there were revisions lower of our previous reports by 60,000, I think, per month. But the big thing that happened is that 429,000, I think, people left the labor force. And so even though we had job loss, we had people more than that, almost 200,000 more than that, leave the labor force. So it kind of skews the numbers and makes it look like the unemployment rate went down when that is really not, doesn't tell the whole picture, right? You got to look at other indicators. And so that put the bonds in a position to improve price, yields went down, and that had rates become better and potentially could set up a really great rally for next week. So let's go to the charts to talk about it. Remember, this is a price chart, so the higher the price, the lower the rates. We talked about this last week and the last couple of weeks that we're coming up against this 200-day moving average, and we keep getting close to it and bouncing back down, right? And when that happens, that prices go down, rates go up. But today or yesterday was significant. Um, and that we closed above the 200-day moving average. So why is this important? If you look historically, when we, it is either a, the 200-day moving average is either a big ceiling of resistance or a big floor of support. We were above the 200-day moving average most all of last year. When the election happened, the big stock market rally, we went below that and we have not been above it since. And so we will see what happens next week. If we can stay above it, Here's the good news for you if you're out there shopping for a home. There's a lot of room to run to the upside here. So you could really see some improvement in the markets by an eighth, maybe a quarter percent of more in rate uh, to really help you while you're out there shopping for a home. So be positive, cross your fingers. Let's hope that we never want to hope for political unrest, global catastrophe or anything like that to get us better rates. But if it is happening, if there's uncertainty in the market that typically benefits bonds, and well, hopefully you get the better of that in your interest rates and it helps you out there buying a home. Stay with the good fight, guys. Summer's here. Keep making those offers. Get competitive. Don't lowball. You're working with great realtors, so make sure that you're listening to them and, and letting them guide you on how to get the best home for the best price and close on time. We'll be here to help you with the financing. Happy hunting. Talk to you.